Welcome to The Weight Take. I'm Elizabeth Moline. And I'm Coleman Payan. And here are this week's top stories. Wake Forest is buying up Winston-Salem one building at a time. There are plans to buy Winston-Salem first on University Parkway, so unfortunately the church says it will have to close its school doors. This leaves many young students in limbo for next fall. Academic freedom is truly dead are the words spoken by Melissa Harris Perry, a former news correspondent on MSNBC, and now a full-time professor and holder of the Maya Angelou presidential chair. She recently attacked the university on Twitter to publicly air grievances brought up during a speech she gave on MLK Day. She acknowledges that she is a difficult employee, but this sounds more like she's going on a Trump Twitter rant. Do you love Netta in the pit? Everyone does. No one makes a better omelet than she does. Well, Harris Perry also claimed that pit workers are fired every summer and then rehired the beginning of the fall semester, causing pit workers to struggle in the summer months. But Wake Forest refutes and denies these claims in a statement saying, quote, Harris Perry doesn't tell the whole story, and her recent comments are misleading and disappointing. Well, I don't know who's lying, but it has been known that Wake Forest does hire pit workers on a 10-month seasonal contract, and they are not hired in the summertime. Stay tuned or check Twitter for more Harris Perry tweets. Now, here's Elizabeth with the world news. A lot happened in the world this week. Finally, the government shutdown has ended, or at least temporarily, as Congress and the President signed a continuing resolution to readdress the problem on February 15th is a if a compromise is not met before then. But during the shutdown, the U.S. lost $11 billion, and $3 billion will never be recovered. Freezing temperatures in the Midwest caused many universities, local schools, and businesses to close. Highs are in the negatives, and wind chill can make it feel as cold as negative 50 degrees in cities like Chicago and states like Michigan and Wisconsin. At last, Mueller seems to be nearing the end of his investigation and will likely come out with a report in the next couple of weeks, some of which will be made immediately public and other aspects will be kept confidential. The State of the Union has been rescheduled for February 5th after Speaker Pelosi finally invited Trump to give the address to Congress. Roger Stone, advisor and longtime confidant of President Trump, pleads not guilty to charges in the Mueller investigation. Trump is increasingly starting to distance himself from Stone and other former members of his administration as indictments continue to pile up. Now here are some announcements. Major and minor registration is happening this week, so that's very important for you sophomores listening. Men's basketball plays Pitt tomorrow night, and women's basketball plays, plays Clemson on this Thursday the 7th, so make sure not to miss those games. There is an acapella concert tomorrow night at 8 p.m. in Wake Chapel. Tickets are $5, and all proceeds go to Wake and Shake, which will be Saturday, March 23rd this year. It is such a great cause, so be sure to mark your calendars. As part of Black History Month, Ron Stallworth will be speaking on Thursday, February 6th at 6 p.m. in Waite Chapel. As it turns out, the new movie Black Klansman is actually based off him. And just because you can't see it does not mean it doesn't exist. Mental health is so important. As always, Wellbeing Wednesdays takes place in Reynolds Gym from 4 to 6 p.m. This week, there will be a yoga session to foster healing and conversations on inequities faced in our society. Contact the Thrive Office with any more questions that you may have. Now here's Marin and Hugo with Entertainment News. Thank you, Coleman and Elizabeth. And if you're just joining us, this is the entertainment segment of The Wake Take. I'm Hugo Hernandez Bianco. And I'm Marin Morris. The stars of Disney's animated hit Frozen have reunited to work on the upcoming sequel set to release this November. Josh Gad, or better known as Olaf, shared a pic of the cast on Instagram caption, soon enough. Adina Menzel, the voice of Elsa, shared a pic saying, just a little morning Arendellian love. Recently, the Duchess of Sussex visited England's Royal National Theater since she was announced patron of the organization by Queen Elizabeth. The Queen, up until now, has been the longtime patron of the theater. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge also made an appearance recently at the Victoria and Albert Museum. Catherine wore a pair of earrings that were previously Princess Diana's and commented that her son, Prince Louis, has been practicing his crawling. 
In TV news, The Masked Singer has been renewed for season two on Fox. For those of you who don't know, the show features celebrities singing in head-to-toe costumes and face masks, which conceal their identities from other contestants, the panelists, and the audience. Eventually, obviously, their identities must be revealed. Have you been keeping up with the Kardashians lately? It's rumored that Kim Kardashian and Taylor Swift have ended their ongoing feud after Taylor recently switched to Universal Records. Universal owns the E! Network, which airs Kim's reality show, and executives told Kardashian to play nice. We'll see how this pans out. Tragedy struck this week when Empire actor Jesse Smollett was attacked in the early morning hours last week in what Chicago police are calling a possible hate crime. Smollett was attacked by two people who were yelling out racial and homophobic slurs and poured an unknown chemical substance on the victim, police said. One of Smollett's alleged attackers also put a rope around his neck. Both fled the scene. Smollett took himself to Northwestern Hospital and is reportedly in good condition. Our thoughts and prayers are with Smollett and his family at this time. Thank you and back to you, Coleman and Elizabeth. Thank you for watching The Wig Take. Be sure to check back in on YouTube for more episodes, comment, subscribe, and let us know if you have any interesting stories or want to be featured on the show, and make sure to follow us on social media. And that's all for this week. Thanks again for watching.